you know what it is that's going to make your soul dance. And if it's not a hell yes, then it's a hell no. Hello, I'm Taylor Page. I'm Dusty May and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and an A24 Zola. I'm Zola. My first real like big break, I was in college, so booking a com- booking a national commercial was like, are you kidding? Like this can pay for my this can pay for my tuition, like this can pay for my food, you know? It was a Best Buy commercial. It was this it was a Geek Squad. I don't know if you remember this, but it was a Geek Squad commercial where they're like l- like little people on your back and they and you carry they were like being carried around like backpacks. And it was like, um, it was like, it was just a commercial about Geek Squad and how they'll, they're basically right there for you. But I remember my line was like, whoa. And I remember when I booked it, I was like, should I be like, whoa? No. Should I be like, whoa? No, that's too much. Like, I remember rehearsing in the mirror, like, should it be like, whoa? <laughs> like, I think highlight of the year has been being able to stay healthy and pretty healthy with my thoughts, even though, you know, it can all be very overwhelming and I've definitely lost quite a, quite a lot of people this year, but just being able to better apply and practice patience and other things that are, that are other important values that are that means so much more than any external validation or I think I've really been able to remember what's really important and that is always and only love. I can't do that. They've all been so incredible for different reasons. Like George C. Wolf, are you kidding me? Genius. He challenges, we email and talk on the phone a lot, and he just challenges me to continue to um, to find the art in myself versus myself in the art, and to read and to ask questions and just like encouraging my innate desire to play. Like he kind of validated that like, the, the way that I like to play is actually all I could ever need. Um, Janixa, like, seeing me, loving me, trusting me with Zola, like, it just felt so good to be wanted, you know? Like, as an actor, you know, we're always kind of being rejected and we never really, you could go really far and then you never hear anything ever again. You never really get feedback. You, you just, you're just, you know, you're sometimes like, maybe I'm, Maybe I just suck. Or maybe this is just like something that's, or you hear people, sometimes people in your camp are like, you know, well, some things just don't go quite in the direction we want them to. And you can like internalize that and think like, I don't even know what I would really want to do. Like, um, so anyways, just having directors and counterparts that see you and care for you and Riley Keough is my best friend, like, you know, meeting her, that was a highlight of my career, meeting her. I have learned to relax, to trust. This is obviously an infinite thing that I don't think, I think if you were to, if you knew how to trust and to relax your whole life, there would be no point in living it out. But I feel like I've learned how to live out the questions even more so. That sitting with uncertainty is actually okay and not driving myself so crazy, you know, about being so uncertain about things or if this is gonna happen or what am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? Am I thinking the right thing? Am I, am I doing enough? Am I reading enough? I've never seen that movie, you know? And just being like, it's okay. Like, you're human, you're a soul, having this experience, like, be easy about it. Quarantine purchase. I haven't had a job this year, so I haven't really been doing any of that, if I'm being honest. Hug everyone. 
Tell people how, tell random strangers how beautiful their smiles are. I, I enjoyed normal people. I enjoyed, I actually watched the entire, se all seasons of Insecure. I, had, I hadn't watched it and I watched all, like binged it in like a week. I'm excited, I have, I have Boogie, Boogie I'm really excited about, and I just wrapped something on Friday that I can't talk about, but I am so proud of it, and that was actually one of the best experiences and collaborations to date of my career. This person, I am forever indebted to her, and a fan, and had the best time.